here with trainer Joel Diaz. Joel, first and foremost, uh, as of news of a few days ago, it looks like you and Ortiz split. Can you tell me, like, what's the update? Like, are you guys cool, or did you have a talk with them about it? No, 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 we're great. I mean, there's no, no, no bad blood or nothing went wrong. Yeah. Nothing went wrong with, with Victor and I. Uh, we're okay. Uh, I texted him yesterday. Mm -hmm. The reason why, because he didn't let anybody know uh, that he was gonna be training over there. He never, t he never told me, hey, coach, I'm gonna be training over here with Haas and uh, Sam Watson. And um, you know Al Heyman called me, and they wanted to know if Victor was ready for a big fight. So I said, I think so. He, he should be ready now. I mean, he has two fights already, and uh, and they're like, okay, we're gonna call you back with a name, with an with the name of, a, of an opponent. So then I text Victor and I said, hey Victor, please let me know what's gonna what's going what's going on, cause they want to know uh, if you're ready for a big fight. So then Haas calls me and tells me that Victor was already training over there. He was uh, working out for three weeks already. So I said, okay, well, just please let me know what's gonna happen. That way, if, if, I don't ha if I'm not gonna be working with Victor anymore, they don't have to be contacting me. Right. So I sent Victor a message yesterday saying, hey, Victor, please let me know if, if we're still gonna work together. If not, so that I can direct the calls to you now because I'm busy to be giving everybody explanations about your career when if, if I'm not gonna work with you anymore. And the, the thing he said was, he said, Coach, uh, he says, thank you. I have nothing but respect for you and your team. Uh, you know, I just think that Indio is too far. And, uh, you know, there's really not much in Indio. I know that this sport is about, uh, it's about sacrifice, but I've sacrificed all my life. He says, Indio is just not for me. Here at Ventura, uh, it's where I have my friends here and I feel, I feel comfortable. So I'm going to do camp over here. Simple as that, and I said, and he says, you know, the only thing that kept me going was you guys, the boys, you know, the coaches, you guys are great people, and I have nothing but respect for you guys. I said, okay, well, you know, I'm here if you ever need anything, let me know. You know, we always got your back. Simple as that. That's good. So you guys are on good terms. You yep. guys are cool, and it looks like he's gonna get a big fight in the next few months. If I'm not. That's mistaken. what it says. Yeah, that, that's I, that's what it looks like. He's gonna get a big fight. So. Any names as far as like I don't know because uh, when I spoke to Al Heyman uh, a few nights ago, he said he will get back with a name, but they're already asking if he's ready for a big fight. So, like I said, you know he fought the best in the world. He fought Floyd. He fought some of the biggest fights. So you know he's already in the business. If it's either gonna make, if he's gonna make it or break it, let's let's, let's do it now. He's already been. It's now or the, never. It's now or never. He's already been in the ring with some of the best fighters in the world. So he shouldn't, he shouldn't be waiting around. He should go for for another big name. If he's gonna make it now, he's gonna make it. If not, hey, then find something else to do.